on Tuesday the 21st of January 1919, while the first Doyle sat in Dublin at 12 o'clock midday, an ambush took place here at Solihead Beg, Tipperary. A group of eight volunteers attacked the cart at a cartload of gelignite en route to Solihead Beg Quarry, just down the road. Two policemen, James MacDonnell and Patrick O'Connell, were shot dead. Two workmen leading the cart fled the scene. The volunteers had no official permission for the ambush and the news spread like shockwaves through the country. The guns and the gelignite were seized and the eight men, Sean Tracy, Seamus Robinson, Dan Breen, Ty Crow, Sean Hogan, Paddy O'Dwyer, Paddy McCormack and Michael Ryan went into hiding. The War of Independence had begun. to become more nationalistic. They did their day's work and cycled long distances in all weathers to learn Irish. Many famous people like Sean Tracy and Patrick O'Dwyer met at these classes. The top floor of St. Anne's School was rented for classes. Men like Morris Crow and Michael Fitzpatrick came here. Of, cor of course, Irish wasn't all they learned. They often passed on messages about drilling, ambushes and secret meetings. Some lads were sworn into the IRB at these classes. Lovely morning, thank God. It was a lovely mess now, Father. We need all the prayers we can get during these troubled times. God bless you. Good 
morning, Constable. Good morning, Father. I see the boys are out drilling again. They are, and I'm watching them. By the left, quick march. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. By left. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. By the left. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. 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 By the left. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. A hane, a doe, a tree, a catter. Company halt. At ease. I didn't see you at the dance last night, Paddy. No, my father was very, feeling very poorly. We had to call on Father Mine. His flu thing has hit the town badly. We've lost three in the family, and I heard that John Crow's child passed away this morning. May God have mercy on his soul. I was only speaking to John in, the, uh, in Willie Ben's bicycle shop on Saturday. Sure, Willie Ben's shop is a great convenient place. They'll be saying the rosary for Crow's today. I think I'll go into Ben's shop on my way to the Irish house. Dan Bree left a message for me. I'll say that's no ordinary message. <laughs> Seamus Robinson, good morning. Good morning, Seamus. God save all here. The streets are crawling with peelers. They've been very on edge ever since they came on to that drilling up in Garnet County last week. You know something's afoot. Barracks is full of nervous peelers. Here, hide this unusual place. We'll be needing it sooner. Have you any news for us? I'm, I'm tired of all this drilling and I'm hungry for the action. Our time will come. Tracy and I have a plan. The 3rd Brigade is ready. We can't leave all the struggle up to Collins and the boys up in Dublin. We'll all play our part. Have you any messages to pass on? The Peters are coming. Well, 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 what have we here? Good day to you. Grand soft day, thank God. Hello, Constable. Are you here for your daily order of tobacco? My order of tobacco is not important, Dalton. Where were you at 10 o'clock last night? I was at a dance in Bora Drive. I came home by car with the Fitzpatrick brothers. And you, Robinson? You were sort of leaving Hogan's of Green Anne. And it wasn't helping in milking you are. <laughs> I'm watching you, Robinson. You're a marked man. Be very careful. Yeah, yeah. A nice first cup of tea. You make a lovely pot of tea, Annie. Well, 
Thank you, Father. I've been able to slice the bread and jam. It just came out of the oven. Hey, hurry up. There's a delivery of potatoes coming soon. I need to meet the lads at Tivoli at 7, so I'll be leaving early. Now, don't you be getting in trouble with the peelers. Stay away from the likes of Tracy and Robinson. It's bad enough you've been hiding guns and passing notes around in the shop. My blessings are with you during these troubled times. Listen to your mother and don't be seen out after dark. They'll end up in the jail. Joffy and Rogers, you stand accused of carrying out illegal drilling on Sunday, February 3rd, 1918 at Garner County. Duffy, have you anything to say in your defence? As a soldier of the Irish Army of Freedom, I demand political status. And Rogers, have you anything to say in your defence? Neil A. Rudd, La Raw, Agon. It is an English court, Rogers. I sentence you to a month's confinement without hard labour and a promise to keep the peace for a year, for in the event of your disobedience you shall be imprisoned without caution. This court is adjourned. Get away. I think someone went over the wires. We'll bide our time and we'll be out in a couple of weeks. Pe those peers are everywhere. We fooled them once and we'll fool them again. Oi, be quiet from there. Here's time to grow up. Well, not really time. Look, we're planning an ambush. There's gelatinite in the barracks. It's being moved up to Solid Bed Quarry. We don't know the exact date, but we've got men in the road watching the quarry. And, uh, so, are you in? We got our ambulance. A bit of action at last. Oh, good man, Shane. Great to have you in. My name is Constable P.J. Murta. I'm a Carlo man, but I've been stationed here in Tipperary Barracks since 1914. My job is getting harder as the volunteers have been causing unrest in the area. They, they need more guns and ammunition and we've tried to steal them from our barracks. Last year, six Lee Enfield rifles were stolen from our barracks. They will use them to ambush our, my, the likes of me and my colleagues when we're on patrol. I have to be alert at night in case we're breaking. I haven't had a night's sleep in weeks. Let's have it. Come on. Sign here, Constable O'Connor. Right. Don't take the usual route. There's too much unrest around. Right. See you this evening. Okay.
we're trying. Let's get out of here! Third day! Get the guns and handcuffs! Tracy, come on! Get out of here! Come on then. Solid Bay last week. The police are searching everywhere for the eight men. My man will hardly let me out of the house now. All fairs and markets have been banned. And music, dances and cinema at the Tivoli are also banned. There's martial law in the area. Huge reward posters are being put up. Man says that the men will have to flee the country. Lots of homes and farms are, be are being searched. No one still knows where the jail night went to. The police numbers have increased. The town is so strange. It's quiet. Tommy and I have been warned to stay close to home. This town is crawling with feelings. National law. Where are we supposed to go? There's no safe houses anywhere. People are running scared. No one expected two policemen to be shot. People say we should leave the country. Go to America. Lay low for a while. No Englishmen are driving me out of my country. Let's head to the Glenna Barlow and beyond. Let's right, keep in touch. Michael Collins must have heard of us by now. This struggle is far from over. here at the Republican plot in St. Michael's Cemetery. Here lie members of the 3rd Tipperary Brigade who were killed in action during the Civil War. What started as an ambush on a cartload of gelignite led to the struggle for independence and finally the Civil War, where brother fought against brother in what was the saddest and most bitter chapter of our nation's history. 
When boyhood's fun.